Today we're going to talk about how easy it is to develop games for multiple scenarios on Java platforms. And, and Magnus, how are we going to do that? We're going to do that by showing the same game on all these three phones. This is a Windows mobile phone, this is a Symbian phone, and this is a phone running a proprietary OS from Sony Ericsson, including a Java platform. It's the same jar file installed on all these three phones. Cool. What game are you showing us now? I'm trying to play Bubble Popper from Digital Chocolate here on three phones simultaneously. And it's quite hard, but I think the yeah, performance is very good. Your performance? Uh, not my performance, the game's performance. Uh, so this is the same jar file running on all three phones. No mo modifications has been done? Or? No modifications at all. You can see that from the screen size here. It's, it's made for this phone. You can see the, the, the frame here is covering the, the, the screen here, and here it's much smaller, and here it's actually a bit too big. So the only small modifications that would be needed for this game is actually to change the screen size resolution here. So this means that in principle you could use the same jar file to sell to three different phone platforms. That's correct. And uh, you can sell it on the Sony Ericsson App Store, Play Now. Yes, and earn money. And, and if I need to do some modifications, how do I do it, and, and what is it most likely? What you might need to do is to adjust for the screen size, and uh, you do that by downloading the Java SDK from the sonericsson.com slash developer website. Okay, well thank you Magnus for showing us, uh, showing us this. Yeah, you're welcome.